Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family guys. I love you. So let's tap in and see what's going on. So I do have music playing in the background. Music is life. So it is what it is. We've got free will here. Okay, so grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable because that's going to spill the tea straight. No chaser, no sugar coating bullshit. It is what it is. Okay, just you and I here shooting the shit. Okay, so cheers. Remember to put yourself where you belong. It's not going to resonate from start to finish. Okay, these are general, timeless, and collective readings. And please use them for entertainment purposes here on YouTube. If you want, we can always dig into your cards and you can get a personal reading. You can inbox me whenever you like. Okay, all the information will be in the description bar below. And this is a pre-recorded reading, guys. So... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon in the corner, and you will get notified when I post my my live premiere. So then this way you can get over all the, the commercials. But if you are watching the commercials, I thank you so, so much for all the support you show me and my beautiful tribe. One, one, one on the clock, guys. So cheers. Somebody thinks you're about to wreak havoc, and you probably are. Somebody is wreaking havoc. Take it as it resonates. Could be your ancestors. Ancestors, what's going on here? Wow, it's the chariot. Yeah, it's chariot seven of swords. So somebody is definitely coming towards you, or or can. It's in reverse because of some kind of mind games. So we're gonna put this here, but somebody is definitely lying on you. And that's why they feel like the ancestors are wreaking havoc because things are being straightened out. Ancestors, let's get these beautiful purple cards. Let's get an overall energy. I'm going to just take a couple of these and we're going to go off of that. Okay, for the, for the reading, I'm going to grab some tarot, clarify them with tarot. Wow. It says the goat. That's what you are. You're the fucking goat. And purple represents royalty. Okay, and then we have two-spirited. Okay, so there could be an energy who is two-spirited, you know, like they like they like the, the same sex, or they could be bisexual. Somebody lied to you. It's the north node. This is why you went on your north node. You did what you needed to do for yourself because somebody was moving sideways because they're a fucking attention whore. And you need love that's true, that's real. Somebody adores you, but somebody's trying to be attention whore. Maybe they chose an attention whore, or fuck, maybe they say that you're attention whore. It is what it is. That's what the ancestors are doing. Why? Because they came up against the goat. You can smell their fear, and the only reason why they're here is the only reason why you're here is to wreak havoc, to change the fucking game, and to see the lies for what they are, to tell the lies for what they are. And somebody thinks you're attention whore because you're calling out their lies. You you ain't doing shit. The ancestors are are. It's about prosperity, guys. You ain't doing nothing but standing in your own lane, drinking your motherfucking water, minding your motherfucking business or the business that pays you. Somebody needs to stop watching readers if they don't want to get the real information. I'm not talking to you, my beautiful soul tribe. I'm talking to those people who are, you know, cross-watching for other people. Because <laughs> you got to... I never loved you and... Nothing to play with. Somebody never loved you. They never, never loved you. Or they pretended with somebody else and lied to you. Take it as it resonates, guys. Either way, you're about prosperity. Friends, family, acquaintances, people from the past, you have to understand they would have treated you better. They would have been honest with you no matter what because you're not going to judge them. But these people kind of judged you, okay? And now you have prosperity lying ahead. Let's get these big decks, and then I'm going to dive into the tarot. There was a lot of people who lied on you, tried to make it seem like you were a pick-me or an attention whore. But these motherfuckers need to mind your motherfucking business. Mm -hmm. Or the business that pays them. Somebody is very fucking upset with you. Yeah. 
somebody needs to mind their own business when it comes to a relationship, your relationships, take it as it resonates, guys. Because you're manifesting at a rapid pace. Lots of money. But a lot of people got a lot to say, so hence they're trying to stop you with lies. But that's not going to work because somebody crosses their heart and hopes to die that they're never going to lie to you. And again, Tim and I. Mm. The crazy kind. And he is mine. It's him and I. You're, you're manifesting a him and I. What? Oh, yeah, somebody is manifesting their queen. Somebody sees you as a queen, as the goat, and you are manifesting a king, a goat. Now, somebody needs to learn to mind a motherfucking business because either way, you're going to get what you want. <sighs> I really feel that, uh, okay, let's get some tarot. We're going to get, okay, so the serpent witch show you how to shed what was to prepare for what is so that's fall season right it this is what nature is showing us how nice it is to let shit go <laughs> Fuck yeah it's my favorite time of year it used to I, it used to be a very traumatic time of year because so much has happened in october so much but it's about perspective and prosperity so through that darkness we do find a better day and you find those those healthy coping skills, mechanisms to help other people. And just from these cards here alone, I feel that you are a queen of kings. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Like a lot of wise men and women, but I'm really feeling like kings, like leaders, are going to come to you and ask you for advice to help them emotionally for either guidance or healing, healing some kind of advice, guys, because you are an important key, important role in the awakening and leadership of the new earth okay so remember that it's time to shed the old to bring in the new prosperity in the end it's just him and i that's what it's saying so i don't know somebody sees you as that queen guys wow it's the knight of coins now you have to be patient knight of coins is fucking being so patient and just waiting for what is yours, not riding anybody else's wave or coattails, and not fucking anybody over in the process. Temperance Angel, that's what's bringing you a uh, reconciliation or you're balancing out the energies, realizing that we have light in the dark. So a lot of people are looking up to you because you have this understanding and people want to know your knowledge. So they're going to really reach out to you and it's going to be people who are are wise who want to find peace within themselves so when they're leading they don't make the people that they're leading suffer this is wow this is amazing queen of swords in reverse you see what i mean but there's a liar somebody who has been making it seem like you are lying but what do you got to lose what do you have to lie about like you're not making anything off anybody somebody thinks your attention whore when you're minding your motherfucking business and these people need to learn how to do that as well temperance angel what you're doing is you're fine negotiating or trying to find balance you're negotiating with the light and the dark in the ethers to find balance and harmony in on earth to find a solution because everybody is going through something and we don't deserve to be alone no none of us are really alone we got ten thousand ancestors walking beside us but a lot of us stay in that darker energy not realizing we need both the dark energy is where our, we create, you know, where we get our inspirations from to create. It's the shadow. When we face our shadow, there is no, there is no really separation. So the same thing on the, the 3D, right? There is no separation. Somebody wants to feel all up on you, okay? Because you're intelligent and somebody tried to lie about you. And break your heart. Make you seem like you are aggressive when you were just assertive. Make it seem like you were argumentative when you were just telling the truth. And these people tried to gang up to make it feel like you, there was something wrong with you. You need to understand. Take a step back and, re and just really think about where their mindset is. Are you really going to take advice from somebody you know, whose mind is not good? And that's what people are realizing. And that's why people are, want to come to you for counsel. 
Because even when people are too spirited, you don't judge. As long as they're not hurting another person or themselves, they need to be themselves. Be that butterfly, be that moth, whatever you choose to be, guys, there is a need for everything. We, the real God, my God, the all, doesn't judge. And somebody wanted to judge you and act like you were an attention whore and you were who you say you were. You were too spirited and you're a liar. But you're still moving forward towards prosperity one step at a time on your own. You have absolutely no co-signers, no helpers, no nothing. And this is what gives you the power to understand that you can do this. Even if you have the help, you still did it on your own. It's still you. And you're not... Stepping on anybody else, hurting yourself, piggybacking, or stealing. And somebody had some damn bad intentions for you. And now they're suffering because you're the goat. And they're learning their lesson, as the song says. Because they had those fucking bad intentions for you. And what's on the floor? It's the King of Wands, Leo Aries Sag. Doesn't have to be, guys. But this is a um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, this person's a leader. But they wanted to make it seem like you were an evil bitch. And you were probably were. But you have to be careful who's saying this stuff about you. They need to reflect because it may be the other way around. You see what I mean? Or a king of wands is having to deal with this kind of energy, which isn't the funnest believe me i'm an aquarius and in the reverse i can get very cold and detached it is what it is i own my shit i am completely aware that i can be a an emotional gangster we're just gonna say okay but i take control of my emotions through trial and error and somebody sees you as that leader very vibrant very magnetic somebody wants to be creative with you they see you as creative like everything you have it's because of what's inside of you and somebody lied and whoever lied they're in depression. Now, somebody really thought that you were in a depression, that you were an attention whore, and this was not the case. Not at all. Somebody around you may have been saying a lot of stuff about you. It could have been a female who had bad intentions and wanted to take this leader position or wanted to take somebody who was in your life who was standing in this leader position. You gave this person what they wanted. Can they fill your shoes? on them that's on them okay but at the end of the day somebody had some secrets and they're learning their lesson and this heartbreak sucks because that heartbreak doesn't lie with you that heartbreak lies with the past because like the serpents which you shedded that shit you shedded the skin now you grew you didn't shed into a bigger snake what you did was you used the snake energy and you did this transformation, this metamorphosis, okay? You tapped into that kundalini awakening. Somebody is depressed because they don't got you. And who are you? You're the temperance angel, motherfucking go queen, guys. Somebody should have mind their motherfucking business because now they're not feeling so fucking good about their life. And we're going to clarify this. Let's see what's going on, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's use. Let's see, tarot, okay. Ancestors, what's going on here? Let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles. Because it did. It took you a long time to get your grip, your balance, your footing. Be wow. Because somebody was really bad in love. <laughs> Maybe you were bad in love. I'll take it as it resonates. we got to take accountability. At the end of the day, you live, you learn, and you made the mistakes, and you lived off of them. Somebody is. But you have to understand that some people really never loved you. Maybe this queen of swords in reverse that's in your external. Somebody who's not independent, not honest. <sighs> the leech, guys. The ten of wands in reverse. You're letting go of this burden. Maybe this king of wands is letting go of this burden. But you're nothing to play with, that's for sure. And this person is realizing it. Somebody's realizing that that heartbreak and that betrayal only lies on them. That's why they're depressed because they couldn't grow and recover. And you're still... Fucking balancing shit out, especially with the ethers. Wow. It's the Empress, uh, Emperor, Magician. There was somebody who tried to control you, okay? It could be a boss. It could be a father figure, something. Somebody didn't want you to be happy, but there is a lot of people who are looking at you. And 
they know that you can fix them. You can fix their headstrings. Like there's something a little messed up in, in their head or somebody is seeing that the environment that they're in, the people, their, their wires aren't really clicking, you know? They got this cognitive dissonance, so they're never going to really have a different opinion of whatever that they have in their head. So it is going to be like a brick wall. These people are going to gaslight you, they're going to disrespect you, they're going to do things on purpose to make you feel very uncomfortable. And you have to look at them like, where the fuck is your head? Like... And these are people who say that they love you, but they don't really love you, guys. You need to see it for what it is. You're the gold, and people don't want you to be shining. Because they know that people who are wise are going to come and ask you for advice. And everything that they've ever said about you to degrade you, make you feel like you were nothing, is they're going to feel like trash. I told you that heartbreak, it lies on them. You never hurt nobody. And you definitely did not want to control people. You're not here to change people's views. You're here to make them think, to do their own fact-checking, their own information, and to do their own work. People will definitely, wise people will definitely seek you out because you know what the fuck you're saying. Six of Swords, and you help people to move away from the turbulence of our own mind. So then this way, when the things happen externally, we can, you know, process it and really be like, I think there is seriously something wrong with them. So I'm not going to hold this. This is not mine to hold. And you're going to choose to walk away. And that's what this emperor is really upset about. Because it could be past, present, future. Always put it where it fits, right? Because they weren't honest whether this is a friend, a lover, like I said, a father, or it could be a female in a bitch-ass guy energy, like over energy. But this is somebody who is two-spirited, so they don't want to tell the truth on who they are. And if they did, they'd be a whole lot motherfucking better. Or if they are telling people, the ones who they are telling are people who are using it against them, making them feel like they're not good enough. Everybody is valuable. Everybody is needed. It's the Seven of Cups. Okay, there's a lot of illusions and you do have emperors coming in. Now, it's people who are leaders of their own life. They don't have, and if they do have a lot of people talking in their ear, they don't listen to them. They have their own mind and they really are leaders of their own life. Okay, they, have, they run their own empires and they really want some kind of guidance, help. Some kind of support. It's about that emotional security, the emotional guidance people are needing right now. Because of all the illusions. You know, a lot of people are being very quiet with their feelings, especially men, because everybody always wants something. And I understand that. People only call me when they want something. Nobody will ever ask me if I want to do something or go somewhere because they're like, oh, well, she's okay. And 95% of the time I am, but it would be nice. It would be nice. But it's the illusions, right? People are scared of you because of the lies that were told on you. People think that it's about the attention that you want and you want to be a silent supporter in the background do you see what i mean like this is why i never tell my like who i who i do my clients or like who are my clients or when i have i, ne I never say anything about my business never like if people happen to find me then they happen to find me I have my YouTube channel here. I have one platform on Facebook, but even Facebook, I don't really publicize my uh, company. What I do is I post my readings to Facebook and hope that it gravitates somebody who wants a reading. I will never ask you if you want a reading. I will never go and reach out. None of this stuff. I don't, that's not my job. My job is just to help those who want to be helped. It is what it is. Three of Wands and you're waiting for something beautiful. It's because you waited for your wave, the right wave. King of Wands, the wheel. Now you have this person from your past who may be feeling some kind of way. Okay, They may be trying to grab their strength to take back their power in some kind of way because their wand is on fire. Some This bodak yellow, somebody sees you as... The queen, as as the go, and they really know that you ain't nothing to play with. This is why the wheel is there. In order for somebody to really change the game, they're going to have to change themselves. Okay? The outcome is in your your hands. We all have responsibility and, and abilities 
to change the game. But somebody is doing magic. Now, this was in reverse, guys. This is why somebody is in a mental entrapment and feels like they can't come towards you because they try to block your blessings, your prosperity with magic and manipulation. Now, you already seen this because you are fucking beautiful, protected by the vote of light in the dark. That's why somebody should have mind their business stop trying to count your pocket. You ain't fucking in their lane. You could care less what they got going on and you hope that they are doing well. These people are hoping that you fucking fail. And that's why they're in the Eight of Swords, because they don't even know. You don't even care who's fond of you. <laughs> See what I mean? They're trying to be you, but they can never be you. And this emperor is in their head. Because they tried to control something when it came to you or they tried to control you. This is like a, a dictator kind of energy. And look, you're the hottest in the streets. Look at my teeth. <laughs> ah, no, just kidding. But six of swords. You, wow, you moved away, okay? And, and because you chose to move away and nobody can fuck with you, people are in their feelings. Because you got red bottoms. You don't mind stomping someone out. And now you're not in that lane no more. So now the ancestors are stomping people out for you because you earned your stripes. You earned your position to be just living it life to the fullest. Very peaceful. Because you're healing. Okay? You learn to fill up your cup. You're a, you're a boss. They're a worker, bitch. It is what it is. They're pussies. Okay, so let's get some more clarity for this. Ancestors, what do you want to say? Okay, so let's get the ancestor cards. Because the ancestors are here and they want you to know that you are fucking inspiration. You are inspiration for a lot of people, guys. So it's time to dance. It's time to sing. It's time to speak your truth. People are going to fucking definitely gravitate towards you for counsel. And it's going to be very wise people who have a... A free mind, a free thinker. You don't want them to follow you, to to praise you, to worship you. No, you want them to worship themselves. So that this way, when they're being a leader in their own right, doing their own thing in their own environment, they will not hurt another person. This is what it's about, guys. You are breaking the chains. And you are an important player in this next phase in leading the new world. I'm... I make money moves. You're about to make money moves, guys. So open up. There was a lot of illusions, but somebody sees that you are water and that you take that challenge as a welcoming gift. You've been challenged your whole life. This is why you're the GOAT. You always learn from the experiences and there's nothing that really truly can stop you but you. So put your best foot forward, guys, because you're a spirit of destruction at the beginning when i first started didn't it it said wreck havoc the reason why you're here is to wreck havoc to change the game to do something motherfucking different with your life and people are really upset because you are authentic people could try to be you they could try to distort your view they could try to lie on you but so many people are going to come towards you for guidance for counseling and it's going to be a lot of distorted mask lens who don't want to be distorted no more. It is what it is. And it's going to be a lot of leaders who have, you know, woken up and realized that a lot of people are really like just, you know, need to mind their fucking business or be helpful. Because you are um, balancing shit out and these bitch ass niggas ain't got shit on you. It is what it is, guys. No hate. It is what it is. So... Let's get this closing message because it says, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Now, listen, you have to let go. Friends, family, acquaintances, this could be even a mother, a father, somebody very close to you who you really wanted to confine in. But every time you do, it's just like, ill. Because when you listen to someone talk, that's like, ill. <laughs> it's like, ill. Yeah. Pay attention to people and how they talk, all right? Because you will see how dirty they really are. It is what it is, guys. Like, people are, are, are de degrading you or calling you down because you swear. But you're real. <laughs> you, wish, you wish a bitch would upon a shooting star. Look, 
16, look up. We're shooting stars. I'm telling you, somebody was wearing a mask with you, playing. They could have just told you the truth and you would have been cool with it. You would have tried to help them in whichever way possible. But these people be trying to shade you. And there ain't no shade in the sun, bitch. So, somebody wants to fucking know your cheat code and that ain't fucking happening. 16, under the mask. Confidence putting the past behind you. Brrr, slay. Through experience of the past, your confidence is growing. You no longer feel the need to hide behind others. At last, you see and accept that you're a wonderful individual in your own right. You are looking for new challenges which will inspire and drive you. There is no time to waste as you are ready for action. Tears of sadness are not long gone. Those difficult periods were a huge learning opportunity. But you have learned difficult lessons and are realizing you have they have made you who you are today. <laughs> you can be all the way covered and still give these motherfuckers sexy and that's what's fucked up guys <laughs> they love you everybody loves you and everybody loves it's your mind they love it's irrelevant that you're beautiful they use their beauty against you believe me pretty hurts and it's blocked so many doors for me because of my beauty because of it, people's insecurities but people aren't looking at your beauty anymore they're looking at your mind and your mind is just peace Okay, so it says, they have made you who you are today. You may feel you still have a way to go before you fully feel confident, but you are on the right path in getting there. Take life one day at a time, and each day that passes, you will move closer to your goal. Guys, goal is end goal is satisfaction. It's peace of mind. That's the end goal. And in order to have peace of mind, we have to stop wanting to please our predecessors, wanting to please our parents. No, we're supposed to be pleasing our children, okay? We need to be role models. We need to be the ancestors, and that's what's going on. You are a role model. You are now the ancestor for the next generation, and a lot of people are going to look up to you. It's irrelevant if they think you're ghetto, if they think you're a swearer, or whatever it is. Whatever, they put you in a box. Maybe you smoke weed. It doesn't matter. I personally have a medical marijuana license, so I can smoke if I want. But I don't take advantage of it. I'm not a pothead. Like, well, I am. Like, I'm not going to lie. But I don't smoke, like, you know, all day. I have my moments because I love it. And I do what I love. And it's relaxing. And it, it, um, it helps with my pain. Like, I got constant, constant chronic pain. Not when you're healthy. Not when your mind is good. And that's another thing. When your mind heals, your body heals. And because you know that, you have so many tools you can help the world with. So remember that. Some people will make you feel like you're not good enough. Even if it's like, say, construction or um, anything. Anything you choose to do. Maybe you don't know everything right now, but nobody will, is willing to teach you because they look at you as a threat. It's okay. You're going to end up finding somebody who will help you in that process. They're not going to look at you as a threat. They're actually going to look at you as um, a key player, a very important person in their life or in this cycle of life. Okay, guys, you're dancing with life and you're very inspirational and you're destructing any challenge that comes towards your life. Brrr, slay. <laughs> you slay all day. And look, two of swords, two of pentacles. I'm telling you, you're blind to the bullshit and it's not about money. You never, ever, ever was doing anything for money. You will quit fucking... You're not signing no contracts. It's not about this. You are an independent artist, an independent worker, and if you're not, I suggest you do this. Okay? Because working for other people to make them rich is going to put you in a real fucked up situation, and I promise you, they can replace you in a heartbeat. Two of Pentacles. Stop juggling. It's time to find balance between practicality and spirituality. And somebody was very egotistical they judged you they blamed you for everything and the whole time they were wearing a mask they were lying to you they never really loved you they loved your prosperity they loved what you brought to the table they loved that you were a messenger you protected them you protected them you had the pink pink print for something
ancestors put bait out. They wanted to see how these people were going to treat you. And guess what? It's time to slay. You're about to wreak havoc in a whole bunch of motherfucking people's life, or somebody is, so that they can get the throne next to you. Because in order to get their queen, they're going to have to be a king, which means they got to be a goat just like you. Someone wasn't with you in the gym, yo, but I don't know. You might have been benched for a little while, and they're about to tap you the fuck in. Might even be a tag team. Do you see what I mean? Someone's coming in to be your teammate, a partner. It's the Hierophant. Didn't I say that? Yeah, there's somebody holding on to you in the background. Whether this is from your past, someone future, I don't know. Someone's going to really hold on to you, though. They're going to help you. And this is a marriage, a relationship, a partnership. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Wow. I don't make it up. <laughs> These are both leaders. Crazy kind of energy. This is a little bit of a Harley Quinn kind of Joker kind of energy. But hey, it's love. And love is love. And I'm all for love. At the end of the day, it's death. Yous are going to be transforming shit all over the world. And you're always in the top shit. Nah, <laughs> fuck that gossip. Six of Pentacles. Yous are both going to be given to each other. How many people can you say did it with finesse? Somebody sees you as King Kong and they're, well, Godzilla, you know? So there might have been a war between the two of you for a while, between you and somebody else. But now somebody is, like, realizing that you were never the enemy. It's that, you know, the, the black ants with the red ants in a jar. Somebody has been shaking shit up in the background and somebody is coming out of the illusion and seeing who's been shaking shit up. And there's a lot of people who are realizing that somebody's been trying to make you the bad guy. And you're Chum Lee. You've been on. These people got conned. It is what it is, guys. And you ain't no con. You ain't no liar. You ain't no fake. You ain't no phony. You ain't no fraud. And somebody knows that about you. You ain't attention whore. You're like, leave me the fuck alone is what you're saying. Ancestor, let's get some more messages. I want one more. Okay, so out of this deck, we got, well, the Hierophant again. I'm telling you, you are a leader. And a lot of people will seek you out. Because you have high standards. It's about morals, integrity, dignity, ethics. you got values. You have faith. An institution may even seek you out. Take it as it resonates. But don't sign no contracts with them. You are independent. And that's probably why they won't even ask you to work with them. But guess what? Somebody is going to see you, find you, and want you. You're going to be valuable. Somebody sees you as valuable. May even be a relationship, a partnership. Take it as it resonates. I already told you that. But you got the strength. And you can overcome this, guys. You have an invisible force protecting you. You have tamed a lion inside of you. Empress in the motherfucking upright. You've been on. These people got conned. I'm telling you, you're, you got nurturing. You're beautiful. You're sensual. And that's why a lot of... You are the queen of kings. You are the...